Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of Phoenix Reborn. So I've been a bit busy around here recently and if we go down here I'll show you what I've been up to. So I did get round to moving those corridors over as you can see. Took a bit of work, I had to move it over about five blocks but the final look is complete and I'll probably just extend the corridors when I need to add extra rooms or whatever and everything's looking a lot nicer than it was and over here I if you remember I was talking about the XP room well I've done a little bit of work over here as you can see so what I've uh, set up here is a bit of a trophy room so we're going to have a combination of trophies and experience and we'll have all the armor stands up here. I haven't decided yet where to put the pedestals which you can place swords in these guys here and I'll have a look at that as I'm developing this room a bit more but down here at the end we're going to have all the experience related stuff and I might have some maybe some sporting rooms and stuff in here I don't know how I'm going to lay it out yet but still a work in progress and yeah that's that so let's do a bit of work now as last episode I got a load of resources from the nether and I wanted to make a few items like we got the railcraft blast furnace to make and we also want to do some Britannia stuff as well and we were limited because we didn't have any netherrack or glowstone so I think I'm going to make a start on the Britannia stuff first as there was a specific item I wanted to make so let me just get the Britannia book up now and it was called the Jaded Amaranthus and this allows you to grow more mystical flowers. So I want to work out a system to automatically harvest them and make it grow at the same time. So I'm probably going to have to have a look at that. I'm not sure I'm going to work it out yet. But we'll do it. And the blast furnace is probably going to go down in that room over there. So I've got a few things to think about here now and when we come back we'll make a start on one of those things I talked about right so let's have a look at this item now we were gonna make the jaded amaranthus and we've got a couple of steps to do before we can make this because first of all we've got to make a rune of spring so to make a rune of spring we were gonna require some saplings a wheat and a rune of fire and a rune of water. So why don't we start with the rune of water? Right, so we're gonna need three mana steel ingots. And I think I got enough here. Yeah I have. Let's grab three of them. We need a bone meal. Let's grab three of them just in case and what else do we need? We need one sugar cane. Where are they? There they are, right? One sugar cane. And finally, we will require a fishing rod. So we're going to need some string. I see free string for that. And some sticks. And I think we might need a. Let's check now. We need not need a bit of iron, so basic for not that's right. So let's make that now. So where's the sticks? So one, one, two, three. One, two. There's one fish rod, and I think that's everything we need. Let's check that. Yep, that's it. Right, and also for the ring of fire, we're going to need three of them again. So I need some more iron and some gunpowder and a nether wart. So I'm going to have to pop some stuff away a second. So let's make some room for some of this. OK. 
Okay, so a bit of uh, one nether brick, some nether warts, some gunpowder, and three bits of iron which I've got to convert. And that should be everything I need. Let's have a look at that now. Yep, that's going to give us a few. So let me grab some food while we're walking over here. Oh yeah, and there's one more item we need as well. So let me just go back to the main menu a second. So we need a item called the Horn of the Wild. So I was taking a look through here and I found this item which clears out tall grass by hand can definitely be a nuisance. Simply blowing the Horn of the Wild will quickly cause any nearby vegetation to uproot. So we're going to work out some method of doing that. So we need to make that as well. So living wood and some pasture seeds. Now I did have some living wood around here somewhere. Or did I put it away somewhere? I think I put it away. So let's see if we got any now. We've got some living rock. So we might as well just grab some bits now. So we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll make we'll grab eight bits of wood, I think. There we go. And we also needed a pasture seed. And I think I've got some of them over here somewhere. Okay, I think we've got everything we need now. So let's start this being made. So first of all, let's get this go on the go. There you go. Right, well, while that's cooking up, we'll add the ingredients for the next bit. So we need... Our first item it is Jaded Amaranthus and we'll go with the fire one first. So we need three of them and that's right. So one, two, three, gunpowder and let's get that out of the way. And what else do we need? Oh yeah, the nether brick, of course. So let's add those in. And there we go. Now that should start working once I click on it with a wand. Where's the my wand? There you go. And that's starting to cook up now. And it's going a lot quicker than it did before, anyway. So let's wait for that second. Uh, we've got to cook up three of these. There we go. How's that doing? Nearly complete. So I think we're also going to need a living rock. Okay, and all i got to do is click on it with the wand. There we go. So we got our fire runes. Now we need to make the water runes. Let's repeat that again. So, one, two, three. A fish rod. Some bone meal. Some sugar cane, I think it was. Let's see if I got that recipe right. There's no doubt I got it wrong. Back. The rune of water. So we got a fishing rod, sugar cane, and some bone meal. Yeah, that's more or less done, so let's start that off. Yeah, that's working. So that's doing its stuff. Let's put that ring back on. Let's grab some of this wood by here. Uh, where's my axe? So I need five pieces of this for the horn. Right, now how do we make a pasture, what a pasture? So 
So let's have a look now. A Horn of the Wild, sorry. Uh, to make a Horn of the Wild, we need a pasture seed. And that is created with tall grass in a mana pool. So that's nice and easy. I've got some grass over here. So let's throw one of these on the mana pool. There we go. So we've got our pasture seed. All we need to do now is wait for this. Uh, that is complete. So let's grab that. Oh no, I gotta add that one. <laughs> so let me take that ring off a second. Okay, and let's grab that. Okay, oopsie. Oh, and I messed it all up. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I redid the uh, water rune without breaking it this time. And I got myself the bits I need. I was going to automate this today, but I'm short on one or two items. Now let me just check to see if I can make it. I could use a hopper hock. Or I could use one of these, a vacuum hopper, I could do it with that. But I'm going to need an ender pearl. Hmm. Yeah, that could be a problem. What about a hopper hock? Let's see, so we could do it with that. A rune of air. So we need carpet, string and feather. Hmm, we could do it that way. So let me have a look at that now. So where's my string? Oh, actually, we'll go and grab some cotton. Let's convert that over into string. There you go. So I always get the recipe slightly wrong. Let's grab all that. And we want to turn that into... Cotton, I mean, it's not silk, I want to turn it into wool. There we go, right, let's grab all that wool. Uh, we need a bit of carpet. There we go, a bit of carpet. And finally, we need. Let's put some items away a second. I don't need the bone meal anymore, I don't think so. Let's see, what should we put away? Uh, put away the string, that. And then we don't need the wall anymore. Should give me enough room now. So what we also needed... A feather. A bit of string. Yeah, I would have to put the, the string away, wouldn't I? So let's grab that. So one of them. One of them. Now we still got a few items to make, so let's run back over here. So we'll go with the hopper hock. Oh, I also need a chest. Oh, we got a chest here. There's one. Right, we'll grab all that. Okay, uh, the only part we can't make is the, I think we can make it, you automate it, activate it, we should be able to make that. So let me make this recipe now. So to make this, we're going to require some grey petals, so I need two of each. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna have to. I haven't got those feathers on me at the mo those petals on me at the moment. So let's make the other item first. So to make the rune of spring, we need to put those two in first. So let's do that item first out of the way. Need one of them. One of them. Uh, three of them. Okay, and next we needed a bit of wheat, which I haven't got on me. 
So let's quickly grab a bit of wheat from over here a second. Let's throw that in there. And let's start that process. There we go. And that's working away quite fast this time. So let's wait for that. And uh, while that's doing its stuff, we needed some grey petals. So we need two. So grey, light grey. So we need two light grey. And two normal grey, which We've got to turn them into different versions using the mana pool. Let's see, have we got any grey? So we need two light grey. Let's put something away a second. So two light grey, some grey. So two grey. Uh, we needed a redstone root, which I've already crafted previously. I think we've got everything we need. Yeah, so now we need some iron. So let me grab the iron a second. Yeah, there's quite a few uh, items to make here. But once this is done, it should make things a lot easier for me. Right. Okay, that's ready. So let's grab the item. Right, where's my living rock? There go. Thank you very much. And we'll have to put some stuff away in here a second. See so what can we get rid of? The bone meal. That'll do. Now, next up, we need to make the item called the hopper duct. So to do that. Let's get rid of that a second. Let's check on that recipe. So we've got our spring now. Now next up we need the hopper duct, which is hopper hock, sorry. So the recipe is like that. But first of all, we're going to make a rune of air. So let's see. So three mana steel and that item. So let me Cook them up. Okay, we got our mana steel. Let's throw that in there. A feather. And a bit of carpet. So string. Feather. And let's start that up. Where's the wand gone? There it is. Let's start that off. There we go. That's on its way. Cooking up nicely. It's getting dark as well, unfortunately. So let's put them up there while we're waiting for this. Now we need the... grey things now. So we need to make a... Right, two of these have got to be... That's a light grey. Now we need to convert two of these, so let me just do that a second. Okay. That's one of them. And one of them. And let's grab our item. So we're going to have to do the same way again. There we go. Did we get an item? Yeah, we did. Cool. Now, the final stage of this is to make that. Oh, we don't actually, we don't need to make it in here. We can make it in the Petal Apocryphy. So, we've more or less finished out here now. So, let me go over here. Hopefully, I've left some water in it, which I haven't. Which is just typical. And uh, let's see if we've got a bucket on us. Yes, I have. So let's fill that up. Okay, now let's throw in our items. Uh, we need the... Let's clear out that second. So let's put the feathers in first. Okay, and next up we need 
the root and a rune of air. So the rune of air is by there. And the root is by there. Right. So let's throw them in there. I think we're going to need a seed as well. So let's check that. Yeah, we probably need a seed as well. So let's grab one of these. Okay, let's throw that in there. There we go. We've got a hop duct. And the final stage of all this is to make the jaded amantium. So to make that now we're going to get over here. And the final stage of all this fun. We've got to convert the items all together. So let's check now. We needed this in the apocryphy as well, so that makes it a lot easier. So let me grab a bit of water. I was afraid that might happen. There we go. Right, so let's throw in the items in order, and they are like that. So we need one mystical... Two purple mana petals. And what was the other one? Let's see, mystical. Yeah, and then that's all we need. We need to charm those two guys up. However, we've got a spider outside a second. Let me deal with this guy. I think he's a bit stuck there a minute. Oh. Oh. Goddamn creeper, and we've got skeletons and everything now, so let's start with them guys. Thank you. So let's charm these two guys up. Got them back, good, right. Now let's make this item at long last. It's taking a bit of a running around but we got there so two of them one of them I'm gonna spring and finally what are we missing a lime green are we? we need a lime green and a mystical green Everything now, all we need is one of the liver roots. I think that's everything. Okay, so let me get a seed. One of them, and let's throw that in. And there we go, one jaded Amanthias. Now, let's go and check out how this works and um, we'll come back in the morning to see how it's doing well it's morning now and our plant looks like it's done its job so we've got loads of different plants to choose from now and this doesn't have to be right next to any items as it will take its mana from the nearest pool which you can see is just over there so it's taking all this mana from there if we right click on it, it tells us how full it is. So that's doing a really good job here. However, we need to work out a way now of getting all this into a chest or something. So let me put my ring back on a second. There we go. Now, we need to automate this. So the only way I can think of doing it is using that Horn of the Wild. So we're going to need to make that item quickly now. So let's make that something like that. And the... I think it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, let me just check that recipe a second. So Horn of the Hunt. We went Horn of the Wild. 
Ah, oh, my time's out by one, was I? Okay. I think... Yeah, that was out by one. There it is, Horn of the Wild. Perfect. So we need this item to be automated somehow, so I think we'll make a auto-activator. Right, we should have everything we need now, so let's make this. First of all, let's make the pist piston, and then we can make the rest. Uh, we should be able to make it, but for some reason the recipe goes a bit funny. So that goes there, that goes there, and the... Oh yeah, we needed the gears, didn't we? So we need the gears. I need two more bits of iron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's two gears, and finally, we have our item. There you go, all done. Perfect. So we're going to work out now how to get this to actually work. But let's try out this horn and see what happens. I'm not sure on the range of it, but here we go. Bam. Oh, and it doesn't harvest that, does it? Ah. That's handy to know. I wonder if it harvested any in here. Oh dear. <laughs> it's got quite a bit of range on it, to be honest. But it's doing its job. Now if I put this by here... Will it do the same job? check on it. Has it got a, and it hasn't even got a durability on it. So yeah that's working fine. Now let's put down our uh, hopper duct say I don't know by here. And we'll put a chest right next to it. I haven't got a chest on me. I'll have to grab one of them quickly. Right, so I grabbed myself a chest now, so it's telling me that if I put a chest right next to this, it should all get placed in there just like that. Perfect. Although this isn't going to be the final design, I'll probably set this up a bit different. But all I gotta do is just deactivate this when I don't need it, so let's turn that off for now. And it doesn't turn off. Okay, I'm not sure how we uh, actually turn it off. So we'll just remove it for now. There we go. Right. So that's uh, one jaded Amaranthias automated and sucking up all the stuff into there. So what we probably need to do is work out a better design for this and get it on a trigger and get it all set up. But everything's working great. Let's just test that one more time. There we go. However, it doesn't turn off until you do that. For some reason, I haven't got a clue. But there we go, we'll leave that in there for now, and we've got everything we need in there. Well, we've done a bit of work on Botania plants today, so we've automated them using a couple of items from Botania and some of the other mods. And we're using those items, I should be able to finish off the Matic tubes and eventually get to the Amy cable stage. However, AE2 requires going to the deep dark as that's where we're going to find our quartz crystals. So we'll get to that in the future. And there's another stage to this as well, which I'll talk about next time. But for now, I've been taking a look at the blast furnace and you'll notice that it's a bit short on materials here as I 
ran out of slime and I need to go and find some more so I found a method of getting them using the philosopher's stone however that requires me to let me just get that in here a sec now I can convert this using a alchemist cataclyst or I can use some raw jellyfish to do it but to make this cataclyst we've got to get some ender pearls however I haven't got any ender pearls and the fluster stone allows me to convert it over like that so I'm probably gonna have a look at this next episode as I get to the end of the episode today and uh, this alchemy catalyst has got a variety of different things you can use it for so let me have a look at the recipes so we can use it for all sorts of things really so we can do all manner of things in it so we're probably gonna have a look at that and have a little play around with this philosopher's stone so I hope you enjoy watching today's episode everyone and if you enjoyed the video please hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more or hit the like and we'll see you next episode.